technology and teamwork, making the streets of Chicago safer. I'm Peter Carl, and this is Chicago Crime Watch. Drug dealers are like weeds. If you don't stop their spread, they choke out all the good things trying to flourish. Police have done a thorough weeding in one southwest side community through an investigation called Operation Ragwort. Eighth District Police flood the area near 63rd in Albany. They're out in full force and drug dealers have been forced out. Uh, Operation Ragwort was a street corner conspiracy operation that involved members of the Gangster Disciple Street Gang selling crack cocaine in the area of 6300 South Albany in the 8th District. Operation Ragwort is the department's 23rd open air drug market to be shut down this year. Ragwort is a noxious weed and there's no question these dealers were toxic to the health of this community. The operation focused on dealers who worked an area near 63rd in Albany. They weren't subtle about their business, but at all the time dealers were selling, neighbors were calling. We had about 169 calls of service over there for narcotics related uh, transactions. So that's what started this. We also had 43 calls of the firearm violence which is a big deal to us here in the 8th District. That's where people can be hurt. In fact, during the investigation, one of the key players in the drug conspiracy was shot, presumably by a rival dealer. Jeremy Langfield was shot. We were attempting to go in and make a narcotic purchase. My enforcement officers told us to hold back that somebody had been shot on the block. When we got over there, then we realized that it was Jeremy Langfield, one of our targets. Jeremy Langfield survived his injuries, only to be arrested by police a few days after he was released from the hospital. Also arrested was his brother Gary. Police say the pair operated out of the first floor of this building. Another gang member, Alvin Sabs, worked from the second floor. They was just 24 hours. They said we could come back anytime we wanted. They were open all the time. If they couldn't take care of us on the first floor, go up and see Alvin on the second floor. The money for drug handoffs at 64th and Albany occurred inside the house. That's a sign the dealers were worried. They're worried about these kind of operations is what they're worried about. They're worried about being caught on video. So now they're bringing the people into the house, figuring that if you don't have it on video, we don't have a case, which is entirely wrong. Actually, it makes a better case for drug and gang house prosecution. They did a great job taking us down and also going after a couple of houses, which were our problem houses in that area. In all, 16 people are charged as part of Operation Ragwort. All of those charged have previous criminal records. An additional person was arrested the day of the roundup. She was fleeing the Langfield home. On Wednesday, the 15th of August, uh, we had a female subject running out of that building trying to get away with the narcotics, and she had 50 grams of narcotics on her person, which had a street value of $6,150. And we also got a 9mm handgun from that same address. Besides the Langfield House, another building at 3100 West 63rd Street will also be submitted to the Law Department under the Drug and Gang House Ordinance. And an additional 12 residents where the offenders lived will now be inspected by the City's Strategic Inspection Task Force. That's it from the Crime Watch News Desk. I'm Peter Carl. Thanks for watching.